God, I feel like I can't get a good angle, not block my background. Hey everybody, I'm Josh. You may have seen the video recently that I titled Nightshade Update 2024. As I was going through some of our old archives, I found two reactions that uh, I completely forgot about. One nostalgia critic reaction for Jurassic World Dominion. So now I can complete the set. Now we can have all of our nostalgia critic Jurassic reactions uh, on, on the Nightshade channel. And the second one was the death battle between Aquaman and Spongebob. Funny enough. So I'll be posting those right now, but once again, make sure to follow my solo channel, Josh the Editor, link in the description. It would really help me out and really support my channel. My solo channel is gonna have solo reactions of even more death battles and even more nostalgia critics that me and Jace didn't get around to it. All right, so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everybody, I'm Josh. I'm Jace. We're gonna watch Beth Daddle. Beth Daddle time. I can't believe you just did that. Oh, I got him. SpongeBob versus Aquaman. Say his full name, goddammit. It doesn't Sponge say Bob his... SpongeBob SquarePants. Fuck you. It doesn't have his full name. He lives in a pineapple under the sea. Did you... How much did you watch the show growing up? I don't think we ever talked about SpongeBob before because, you know, we're 27. <laughs> Emily loves SpongeBob. Her and her sister can, like, recite episodes. They loved it so much growing up. And sometimes... It doesn't happen that often, but if Emily's, like, feeling really overwhelmed and sad, she'll like... just, like... Turn on Spongebob on Amazon. I feel like I'm going to get stoned if I was to watch it again. What what version of Aquaman is it? Is it the Super Friends Aquaman? It is the Super Friends Aquaman. Oh, no. I don't think... I think... How strong is Spongebob? Actually, no. He's weak as shit. Remember he had, like, those inflatable muscles? I, okay, I'm not really even going to take this stuff out seriously. I'm telling you that right okay. now. I just know that... I, think, I remember there was, he, there was a, an episode where a fish was like, I'm going to kick your butt. And the guy... Kept punching Spongebob, but he couldn't feel anything, you know, because he's made of a sponge. What if they include um some of his weapons? Like, uh... He does know karate. He knows karate. And... Jellyfishing. I think jellyfishing, yeah, one of his specialties. Uh, it, I think in one once, of his... I once took a funnel, scooped up the snow, and put it back on him, and just turned into a snowball machine gun. Do you remember... Oh, what was it? What was it? There was a video game where it was Spongebob, Timmy Turner, Jimmy Neutron, and yeah. Danny Phantom. Nicktoons Unite. Yep. And I think his weapon of choice was his uh, spatula. His fried cooking spatula. No, he was in karate. His karate gear. Karate. I could have sworn he, like, his, he was just hitting people with his spatula. No. What about the, what about the pencil? Nope. Oh, wait. Actually, he could throw a paper airplane that became Doodle Bob and <gasps> would distract people. Doodle Bob! I forgot about Doodle Bob, man. That was a, that was a legit episode. Okay, we gotta go. Play the episode! SpongeBob SquarePants, Nickelodeon's number one nautical nincompoop. Aquaman, the thalassic third wheel of the Super Friends. Thalassic means ocean. I looked it up. <clears throat> the infinite ink black depths of the seven seas are home to any number of terrifying, awe inspiring creatures. They're also home to these two losers. <laughs> Though when it comes to cartoon characters, there's always more hidden beneath the waves. That's right, we're prioritizing the cartoons for maximum tune for shenanigans. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> 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 the year was 1946. The former allies of World War II were engaged in a cold war between capitalist West and communist East. The United States changed history forever with the introduction of the atomic bomb, a weapon of unparalleled nuclear devastation. One of their most popular test spots, the site of 23 separate detonations over the course of 12 years for a total fission yield of 42.2 megatons, was Bikini Atoll in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The results were ecological devastation and perhaps something more deep beneath the atoll the fauna began to change they evolved becoming sentient forming language technology is this the lord society. of bikini bottom bikini it's bottom bullshit there's no way monarchy under the god king neptune <laughs> it's it a free market economy and a thriving artistic culture even the simplest underwater creatures became capable of complex <laughs> thoughts, like including the very first multicellular organism to be categorized as part of the animal kingdom the sea sponge and one sponge in particular, the greatest among them, lives in a pineapple under the sea. Oh! oh 
SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> oh, I wanted to sing this song. I don't know about greatest. SpongeBob he weighs one ounce. He's four inches tall. He's 36. He's oh my God. Door. Robert SquarePants. He's a painfully naive man child whose only ambition in life is to continue his minimum wage job as a fry cook at the Krusty Krab. Really sounding like a Squidward there, Wiz. And no one wants to be a Squidward. Sponge Robert might not have the flashiest life, <laughs> but he's happy. And that's what matters, ain't it? Not in Death Battle, it doesn't. SpongeBob is routinely physically incapable of even the most basic tasks. Almost like anti tune Force. He's the biggest whip in town. <laughs> yeah, he like fucking he broke his fingers. Glass of lemonade, or the time a school bully gave him diarrhea, or the time he effortlessly rotated the entire planet. What the fuck? Huh. Oh, ho, ho. we're in for some shit now, aren't we? Despite being a real Whoa. creature, SpongeBob is more like a kitchen sponge. Absorbent and yellow and porous is he after all. <laughs> he can stretch and shape shift his body any way he likes ah! to locate uh. himself through asexual reproduction what the fuck? and absorb immense amounts of liquid. Wouldn't he always be full though? From an entire lagoon to Oh god. Enough water to replace the moon? What? Oh, the fuck? He has an insane healing factor. He survived being torn in half, vaporized, having his soul teleportation, his fourth wall in direction. Goofy Goober Rock. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. We can just imagination. Uh, oh, that's, that's, that's <laughs> what's gonna win it. Whole goes. Perhaps his most mind. This, 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 this. Control over bubbles. No, the bubbles! This is unbelievable. Dude. He's like Green Lantern. He'll have a, bu he'll have a bubble <laughs> army. <laughs> Sentience! Bubble buddy! Missiles to sentient life and entire bubble societies. That's a pretty I'll remember the bubble societies. Magic pencil, which can draw anything he wants into existence and erase it from reality just as easily. The pencil was so powerful. Oh no, Boomstick has the pencil. He's drawing something. The surface where it belonged. But in later seasons, he still just has it for some reason. And oh, that's dumb. I call him Doodle Wiz. Wiz, ah! just like you. But I made him with a pencil. Blowing on <laughs> I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Even the mundane becomes godlike in SpongeBob's yellow hands. The fuck? Like his reef blower, which hoovered up the entirety of Earth's oceans in seconds and then exploded on top of SpongeBob all at once. It's estimated the entire mass of Earth's oceans oh is about 1.5 quintillion tons. We calculated that Considering shit. all the water refilled the planet in about one second, that'd be a kinetic energy of over 6,000 Yoda tons. That's enough energy to nuke Jupiter 13 times over. And SpongeBob was completely unharmed. His hydrodynamic spatula isn't just an impromptu bladed weapon. It's also his primary instrument to create the greatest food stuff Bikini Bottom has ever seen. The Krabby Patty. A burger so delicious, it's basically magic. Not only is it totally addictive, SpongeBob... He's gonna get beat up and then he'll just eat a Krabby Patty and... It's Ooh, a nullified back to, mind back to work. control, heal wounds, and even detonate. SpongeBob has survived nukes point blank. Hugged his best friend Patrick so hard their DNA fused can ride on the scene transition. What? So <laughs> he flooded Bikini Bottom, even though it's already underwater. Shit, he once grabbed a hold of this mysterious string and unraveled the entire universe. What is this? He undid the fabric of reality in seconds. What the fuck? <laughs> what that you were saying about anti tune force? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not sure I've ever misjudged a character as severely as SpongeBob SquarePants. Nice character arc there, Wiz. Unfortunately for Roberto, the rest of the town only saw the Goofy Goober on the outside. It took more than one adventure to prove himself to be a real hero. You think he ever banged that squirrel? He's no! Clinton's Plan Z won the Battle of Bikini Bottom against an army of killer robots and even teamed up with fellow Nickelodeon stars Timmy Turner, Jimmy Neutron, and Danny Phantom to save the Nicktoons multiverse. Fuck yeah. His biggest weakness is that he's a giant, suicidally naive idiot. And depending on the humidity of the atmosphere around him, being out of the water yeah. can dehydrate and permanently incapacitate him. Oh, also seasonal rot. Those first three seasons are beautiful. Your gold, but after that, oh boy, there's this one episode called Squid Baby where Squidward gets brain damaged into a giant baby and shits himself on screen. What are you talking about? Oh, right. <clears throat> Trials and tribulations. David Hasselhoff! It wasn't until SpongeBob accepted himself for who he was that he was rewarded with the greatest boon of all. 
Middle management! So if nautical nonsense be something you wish, then pray to your yellow porous god for mercy, because his whimsical laughter is the last thing you'll ever hear. <laughs> Aquaman, king of the seven seas. Nothing about him saying I'm ready. Show before, and he's actually secretly awesome. That's right, Boomstick. But the version we're dealing with today is from the bargain bin cartoons from the 60s and 70s. Now, you might assume that means this Aquaman a is a total loser, but really, have you watched all those cartoons? Remember, this is from the era when Superman was sneezing solar systems apart. So, get ready. Art's origin is basically the same as the Silver Age comics. Tom Curry was a humble lighthouse keeper who decided one day to fuck a fish. He did not do that. <laughs> Human fish <laughs> and <of> course. <laughs> what is his reaction? Atlanta. He did not do Atlanta that. Atlanta from the underwater city of Poseidonus. And from their union, Arthur Curry was born with magnificent aquatic abilities. And he's the king of Atlantis, too. Oh, wait, no. It says here that was introduced in the comics later. Here he's just some guy. With magnificent aquatic abilities. He and wasn't always the king of Atlantis? That's crazy. Days, just like a land horse. This Aquaman comes from a time when everybody who's anybody had their own secret cave with assorted gadgets. He's got an underwater jet ski, a jet net, ski. octopus, a, egg, net. a water pistol, and a portable heat ray to blast right through solid ice. Not exactly mind-blowing, but... You know, I'm sure we're ramping up. We sure are. Aquaman's hybrid human Atlantean biology grants him superhuman strength and the ability to breathe underwater indefinitely and withstand the crushing depths of the ocean floor. The pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench is 16,000 pounds per square inch. pull apart That's the like universe. being stepped on by a uh, hundred elephants. Which, which is a lot, I, I guess. Aquaman is also an incredible swimmer, able to travel from Florida to Maine in under an hour. That's almost twice the speed of sound. He can create water balls and whirlpools out of thin They sound very water, unth enthusiastic. And water-based attacks are completely ineffective against him. And of course, you can't forget his aquatic telepathy. He can talk to fish, and he can even control people's minds and give them seizures, right? Oh, actually, that second part is also just from the comics. Cartoon Aquaman can talk to fish which is awesome his telepathy can reach several miles summon hundreds of sea creatures at once and works on anything from microscopic organisms to alien life as long as it's aquatic alien life of course <laughs> but he can still mind control them right kind of he can free them from mind control and even influence their emotional state to some degree but besides that there have been times when sea creatures have just ignored his commands outright. Wiz, I'm gonna be straight with you. You haven't said anything remotely mind-blowing yet. Does this Aquaman actually suck? Hold your seahorses. Aquaman Hold your seahorses. So world-renowned, he banded together with Earth's mightiest heroes to form a team capable of defending the planet, nay, the universe, from any threat. The Super Friends. The Super Friends. They're like the dime store knockoff version of the Justice League. What? No. What? Well, you've got heavy hitters like Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Flash, Green Lantern. Uh huh. Apache uh, Chief, Samurai, Black Vulcan, the, the Wonder Twins, Wonder Twins, and their pet monkey Glee. Ah, Glee. Stop. You're embarrassing yourself. No, wait. His best Why direct did strength. Mustard. Why? He, uh, Why did he put mustard on it and then boots? peel the banana? <laughs> right. About fifty metric tons of it. Uh, the jokes write themselves, huh? Fun fact, Aquaman once enrolled in an American college under the name Mr. Waterman. So we're working with a pretty hefty IQ here, mm. huh? Okay, so he's lame, and arguably completely lame. I was convinced I'd find some crazy, insane Popeye He already had a name, name Arthur, so Arthur Curry. Weird, that has nothing to no, do with water. He sucks. <clears throat> he actually, actually sucks. They sound like Raj in that one episode of Big Bang Theory. Garbage. I'll uh, take over from here, Wiz. Aquaman, Aquaman sucks. Aquaman is a bit of a joke, sure, but he's not completely useless. He's dodged laser beams, defeated a living Titanic by luring it into an iceberg. That's cool. Seriously, and beaten this water elemental Undyne, who looks like a gorilla for some reason, uh, by summoning seagulls to pelt her with clamshells. 
He once even outswam this Kryptonian pterodactyl monster, Brokan, who flew from the edge of the galaxy to Earth in about 15 seconds. Wait, wait, really? Okay, okay, now we're talking. That'd be over 55 billion times the speed of light, and Aquaman's swimming clearly outmatched that. It doesn't matter if it looks lame. You get one, buddy. And, hey, he could probably kick your ass, person that's watching at home, so... That's something. Damn. Well, not if he's on dry land. Uh, if he's out of the water for even one hour, he dies. Never mind. What? If you're watching at home, just uh, hide for a bit, grab some lunch, and then uh, stomp on his corpse. But is Judges. that power really what makes someone a hero? Or is it the drive to help others, to be of service, to sacrifice? That's what a hero is to me. And I'd so say Aquaman's got as much of that as there are drops of water, of water in the ocean. What the fuck? He's about to die. Is he skipping? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh boy. And I think Aquaman's about to die, isn't he? Well, We're not even gonna stop the video, are we? Yeah. I'm going to stop him. SpongeBob SquarePants. One possibility. It's time for Aquaman. Hear what they said. He calculated all the possibilities. <laughs> One possibility. <laughs> Wait a second, you're not Mermaid Man. <laughs> the name's Aquaman. Evil doer? Evil doer? I'm a hero. I saved this city. <laughs> I love that name. There's only one real hero here, fiend. And he's a super friend. Oh, God. You see, sir, I'm a sea sponge. Phylum Porifera. And you can't just... Ooh. How about a little karate, Waterman? Call him Waterman. Aquaman! Ow, blam! The fuck? Of course. He's a sea creature. And as the king of the seas, he's mine to command. <laughs> uh. I wasn't. Just reaching up to you, Sponge. Oh. Let him have it, chums. <laughs> God. Oh my God. Great Neptune. this, sea man. Damn it, it's up. This reminds me of um. I get the vibe of like that. Need water powers fading. Is there nothing I could do? My man. My man. I see it now. A multiverse of Aquaman. And out of all of them, I'm the lamest fucking one! <laughs> they did the oh. dolphin sound effect from when he cursed! <laughs> they did the dolphin sound effect! People used to say the same kind of I get the vibe of like. Like in a crossover when the characters fight before they team up, you know, this is what that feels like. Every day, I get back up and say two words. I'm ready. Yeah, bullshit. Oh boy, here we go. The pencil. You oh, you his arm. His arm? Can, you, can you draw it back? Can you put him in a door? What is this door? Other side of the universe. Side of the universe. Shrink. The oh, fuck? Oh my God, he's. Whoa. Let's be super. He just draws him back to life. Here lies Ocean Man. Ocean Man. Number one. He was number one. Smitty Werbin Yeagerman Jensen. It was an incredibly close fight. No one. 
gotcha. Obviously, Aquaman didn't have a snowball's chance in hell. <laughs> this was incredible. Bastitch. Where do we I even love start? That, animation. that was awesome. And magic pencil, SpongeBob could basically do anything he wanted. There was no way Aquaman would There's get so many references. Especially with his much more limited arsenal. I can't think of a more lopsided matchup than someone whose main attack is throwing water against a sentient sea sponge. Aquaman's only potential option was his telepathy. But as we've covered, it's far less powerful than his comic counterpart. There's no reason to believe SpongeBob wouldn't just ignore Arthur's commands. Even if it was straight up mind control, SpongeBob's Krabby Patties straight up cancel mind control. And really, nothing Aquaman had could overcome Bob's utterly broken regeneration. The little yellow dude has survived being completely disintegrated into dust and even erased from reality. All Aquaman can do is punch kind of hard, and even that's basically useless against Bob's squishy body. Maybe Aquaman could have found a way to dehydrate SpongeBob it enough to keep him, him permanently too. incapacitated, like when he and Patrick were trapped in Shell City. But that would require the fight to take place out of the water, which messes Aquaman up way harder than it does SpongeBob. And it also require the fight doesn't instantly end up with SpongeBob karate chopping Aquaman at ten shit zillion times the speed of light, splattering his atoms against Saturn. Because, yeah, remember when Spongebob unraveled the universe? Considering the... No, I'm sorry, I need to do this one. This is... This is fucking insane. Oh, fuck! Compared to SpongeBob's size, the string's width is about 192 micrometers. We can use that to find the volume of, say, one meter of string, and compare that to the volume of the entire observable universe. Considering it took SpongeBob about five seconds, he would have had to be pulling at 8.2 times 10 to the 78th power times faster than light. <sighs> That's as many times faster than light as there are atoms in the universe. What the fuck? It's the fastest calculable speed feat in our show's history. And it belongs to SpongeBob SquarePants. But do you think he could take on comic book Aquaman? Have, have you been listening to anything I've been saying? Good point. Because let's not forget. Of course I didn't forget. That string feat <laughs> also <laughs> destroyed the entire universe. And stuff like that is actually consistent. SpongeBob is literally aware of the fourth wall and has rewritten the plot of his own story as he's living it. Screw the pencil. Deadpool the who? He can just will whatever he wants into existence from his imagination. He's a god. A yellow, <coughs> spongy god of death. And that's why he beats Goku. Oh, I was going to say that, damn it. He got to be a real hero. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. Yeah, sure, whatever, pal. He's dead. Too bad for the king of the seas. That sure was one sweet victory. The winner is SpongeBob SquarePants, our god. Our god. Man, this episode really fucked Thank up Wiz, wanted. man. Stay tuned. This episode was so fucking wild. That was insane. They did this and this. And that, 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 it, was, that. it was like eight. I don't remember the exact. Eight the fastest recorded speed ever. In depth, it was eight point two times ten to the seventy eighth power. That's seventy eight zeros at the end of it. And they said that is. And it was times faster than the speed of light. That is more. And they said it was more than the number of atoms in the universe times faster than the you speed know, of light. Yeah. You know, eventually, they're gonna do Googleplex. What is Googleplex? Okay. So I want you to imagine a one, hold on. I want you to imagine one followed by a hundred zeros. That is a Google. Oh. Now I want you to imagine one followed by a Google of zeros. That's Googleplex. It's literally 10 to the power of oh. 10 to the power of 100. Oh, that's a lot. Right? Okay. It took me a lot to figure out what you were saying. There's probably fewer, like a lot less than a Googleplex of atoms in the entire universe. God. Damn! That's how big a Googleplex is. But anyways, it was an interesting episode. I liked it. Very that, fun. It was very a, fun. That, very the art style. It's 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 death battles like this and the the One Punch Man one that are that are really great. You remember that one? Yeah, Popeye. Uh, Popeye. Yeah. I remember like <laughs> one Saitama goes for like the punch. You said the Japanese kanji for the word death on the fist, and Popeye's just there like, and you can't read that. Oh, damn! All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I'm Jace. I'm Josh. And we'll see you next time. Remember. We have a Patreon. It exists. It's a thing that exists. Boom. Bye.